just before you join the bandwagon of people doing the 21 days daniel fast 14 days daniel fast even seven days daniel fast like i wanted to get these straight why are you even fasting have you really you know settled the reason why you're fasting are you fasting to diet you're fasting to get closer to god or you're fasting so that you know they won't say that oh you are now the backslider among the the, the what's the name again among the fold well i'm not going to be the judge of that because i believe by now you must have make up your mind you have a specified reason why you're embarking on this fasting why you're starving yourself why you're going to starve yourself for days on a fast i personally have done the daniel fast twice in my life and i promise you it was a rich experience you need to try it out you really have to try it out not for fleshly gain no it is a rich experience with the lord if you want to heighten your spiritual sensitivity you want to build a deeper closer more intimate relationship with god with the holy spirit i promise you, you can't do that without going through series and days and time and commitment to a fasted life prayers alone will not do it bible study alone will not do it but you see that fasting there was a reason why jesus said you see this kind of this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and by fasting and you cannot pray what is not in god's word so which means it must be it must include the word of god prayer and fasting while i was on campus i used to be someone that said forget that thing it's not about prayer it's not about fasting because god i can just i can just kneel down in my room and pray and god will answer me looking back at me those years on campus i just laughed laugh at that ignorant proud girl who is so lazy she's simply lazy so it is laziness that tells you that makes you think that you can't live a fasted life it is laziness that makes you think that you can't live a prayed life it is still laziness that makes you think you can't study the word of god pray and fast there is no way you can become who god has called you to be take this from me without living a fasted a prayed life and a life rich you know a life built on the foundation of, of god's word when you like subscribe comment and share my content youtube thinks that you found value in that thing you watch and is able to like share it to the larger audience so share this content and let other people be a part have you subscribed have you liked have you shared and i've not seen your comment too please do that as up thank you hey gorgeous and welcome back to nalwe if on my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me i really want to take this moment to say thank you for celebrating my birthday on the 15th of january where i joined you know i clocked big 30 i am 30 god let me not make this video about the 30 as if as if 30 is no 30 is the new 20 girl okay this particular video has to do with god it's not it does not have to do with me you get what i'm saying so let's still bring god back into the focus into the center of the conversation i want to talk about five things that you should have at the back of your mind before you start the fasting um the daniel fast why i just had to like you know be a little bit what is making that noise oh plane is flying i don't know why whenever i want to make videos like really serious videos i get a lot of distractions i get a lot of distractions but hey girl we gonna do this okay why i had to like goof around a little bit is that i want you to not i don't want you to feel so tensed in as much as i'm going to be talking about really serious things what i'm sharing with you today is very very serious and you must uh, you must take it as serious treat it as serious treat it as urgent so let's talk about five things you should have at the back of your mind why you know you embark on the daniel fast i already made a video where i talked about you know three mistakes believers me i think that was four mistakes terrible mistakes believers make when they embark on the daniel fast and it makes their fasting null and void you want to check up here or check the description box to see the link to the video so with this out of the way subscribe don't forget to subscribe now that we've had all of this things out of the way let's just dive deeper into it five things i want you to, to have at the back of your mind when you want to embark on daniel fast number one fasting does not change god's mind I used to fast in the past thinking that oh fasting was going to like make god answer me quickly no um fasting rather fasting does not twist the hand of god to do what he doesn't want to do to do what is not in his nature to do to do what he did not plan to do 
what fast i'm over you i believe by now you should know that god respects his word more than his name so if you really want god to answer your prayer to do that particular thing you want him to do for you you have to come to him with his word so all the people burning candles and having midnight and just praying and fasting without the word of god even if you finally get the answer i doubt it is god who gave you that answer it must be one of these peke peke familiar spirits that gave you that answer so god told moses he said moses remove your sandals because where you are is a holy place this simply tells you that with god there are protocols with god there are procedures the way you don't just wake up and walk around into you know um people in authority their offices anyhow that's you don't just patch into god's presence there has to be reverence god is holy you have to stand in awe of him remember the bible also told us that blessed be god who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places this simply means that god has given us everything we need everything we need like i mean literally everything we need but it is in the heavenly places it is spiritual all the money you need in someone's hand but you have to call it down you know from the spiritual for you to get access to it the wisdom you need the creativity the insights you need all of these things number two fasting has its biblical foundation it you can, be, it can be found in the book of daniel chapter 1 and daniel chapter 10 go and read it for yourself yes you have to be a bible student go and read it for you safe so from these two chapters you will read you know you find out that fasting is like a biblical um it's like a biblical discipline yes created by god to help you and i get have a more intense focused and in synced relationship with god we live in a world where we can easily be deceived by the deceiver we, we don't even we don't we, we cannot outsmart satan that's just the truth right so fasting helps to like yank us off these distractions help us to like have a more committed time with god it is in the place of this fasting the place of solitude that you are going to download blueprints solutions to the world's problem every single day we live problem keep coming up and up and up and there are people that are meant to bring the solution if god is using other people why can't he use it that's why the bible still says something i think it should be in the book of timothy he said in a great house there are different kind of vessels the wood the clay the gold the silver there was a reason in, you know the bible had to record that it went on and said if you purge yourself you know from saying if you purge yourself yank yourself off have a more committed relationship with god not just saying that well i'm a christian for that reason you you know i, I see christians live a very careless life um because we think we are christians for that reason we just live very careless lives no if you live a careless life you only operate on a very careless no you know on a careless level no wonder we have a lot of christians operating from careless you know average level but if you live a life according to god's word you take your commitment with god seriously god is going to work with you god is going to use you even without you asking him to do so so it is a time of personal retreat with god where the focus is growth prayers and connecting with god number two spiritual focus and not food you have been eating food all your life this flesh survives because it eats food right the moment you begin to yank food away from this flesh you will humble your flesh if you have issues with maybe addictions even porn and masturbation you have issues with sugary addictions fasting is another way through which you are going to like yank yourself off from this take it from me i've done the daniel fast twice in my life and i promise you the experience was so rich and it did something to my mind my mind became sharpened so my whole focus here or the point i'm trying to make here is that your focus should not be on food there is a reason why it is called a fast it is not food it is a spiritual exercise turned experience it is a time a personal time with the lord it is the time that you transcend from the physical to the spiritual at the end of your daniel fast you may not even fall under the anointing at the end of the fa daniel fast you may not even feel like oh there's this huge thing that happened we are definitely going to have an experience that marks that um that um, um exercise you did people have an issue you're going on a fast and then you start thinking of oh because you love uh, ice cream now you now say oh you start searching on google or on youtube you know how to make daniel fast ice cream how to make daniel fast burger girl this is not um it's not a joke it's a fast it's an exercise it's a time out with god it's a serious business so you must have it at the back of your mind one of the things some patients some persons will really struggle with is you know what are you going to eat all through these 21 days for different countries um different kind of food how to like um 
people had to deal with different kind of food but for me when i did mine i'm i was and i'm still in china and i had to deal with some vegetables that i got from you know the chinese restaurant i stayed away from for meat from sugary stuff i stayed hydrated i drank a lot of juice a lot of broth i mean make a separate video on that concerning um the food i i took during my journey of fast but all the things i took during those periods were not the food normal food i would eat it wasn't giving me joy you get what i'm saying right so because i know that this is a process this is a journey this is an experience it's an exercise it's a it's a limited time that i'm going to have with the lord so cutting myself off from you know working on my mindset really helped me um with what i ate during those 21 days fast number three prepare 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 how are you going to be going for daniel fast and you don't even know the start date you don't know when it's going to end you don't have your bible no journal no pen to pen down the things god is going to be talking to you about you don't even find like there's no adequate preparation for you to find a place a quiet place there's no adequate preparation for you to stay off social media especially if you're someone that gets addicted you know you you enjoy mindless scrolling there's no place no plan for that you maybe you work you go to job your job and there's no adequate preparation on how you're going to survive there it does not make any literal sense you're going to find it very difficult to like go through the 21 days fast there's no devotional there's no way you're going to like get in sync with god you just do your fast as though it's like it's an everyday thing that is not how it works and another very important warning is you are preparing for you're going on a daniel fast a 21 days daniel fast maybe you've not even fasted in your life or maybe you only do 21 days daniel fast once in every year and you just want to wake up and go without first of all going to see your doctor especially if you have underlying sicknesses right that would not allow you to just plunge into the fast even if you don't have any underlying sickness you don't just plunge into the fast you first of all start by preparing yourself a week two weeks ahead reducing the sugar intake staying more hydrated beginning to cut down on the portion of food you take like beginning to do maybe 001 maybe 010 eating once in a day twice in a day if you're someone that eats 10 times in a day begin to prepare your body gradually to gradually adjust you know what i'm saying and then slide into the daniel fast you can't say that you want to start the daniel fast tomorrow and tonight you're going to eat everything in the house and tonight you're going to drink every sugary thing you're going to eat all the burgers you're going to swallow all the apple all the apple like you just want to kill yourself with food i promise you you're going to wake up the next day super hungry and you already ruined the entire foundation of your you know of your fasting journey before i said number five please don't forget to like subscribe click on the share button right share this with someone i promise you you don't know how many people you're helping their spiritual life grow blossom when you share spiritual content i share i i create and post on this channel i don't just wake up and think of oh what do i post what do i create no i i plan adequately i make adequate research i go through the scriptures research I plan and prepare adequately for each of the content I put out here. So I feel the, the least you can do is at least just click on the share button, share it on your status, share it with people, and let you will save your soul. You don't even know. There might be other things you should have at the back of your mind, but in today's video, number five is that Daniel fast or fasting in general is for spiritual and personal growth. You cannot become who you want God or who you think God has called you to be without living a fasted life fasting is not done to please god mm -mm. it is rather a tool for your own personal growth it is a tool that helps you get in sync with god not god getting in sync with you god has always wanted to be in sync with you but you and i are the one who keep running so it is through that process those periods those habits the commitment of fasting that you not only get you not only grow we also get deeper into a very more in, an intimate relationship with god take it from me i am a lifestyle coach right i help women at the print demand femininity coaching program i help women get pruned into them their best selves i help them regain their femininity reclaim their femininity get pruned into their best selves using my three-step coaching methodology which covers the femininity power your relationship power and your cash flow power and i promise you there is no way there is no way i could have a belt and still building um, a program like that without having gone through the place of prayer the place of god's word and the place of fasting blueprints like this do not just come when you just lay on your bed just like that people who are into the occultic 
can tell you this these guys take every instruction seriously because they know that they once you do the right thing like i mean when you follow those instructions you're going to grab those power you're going to download those blueprints you're going to become a problem solver now the problem is people will see you know these guys who are in your cultic evil people create something and you know in tech and they'll be like oh you know all these christian people that just talking about one sky daddy one white jesus but they cannot create nothing and they'll still come and use you know the apps of these um these atheists or these people who don't believe in god and you tell me that there's a god in heaven blah 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 it is because these people gained access into the spiritual realm and they carried solution that was supposed to be carried by you and i but because you and i are so lackadaisical in our life in our relationship with god we don't take god seriously because jesus died for us for that reason we will continue to live any how kind of christian life we will not be able to still download a blueprint that will bring solution to the world and cause men to come to god the bible says if you lift me up i will draw all men to me and there's no way all men will come to god will come to jesus without seeing you who is carrying this jesus so in 2024 i encourage you to stop being lazy i encourage you to take your walk with god seriously so i just hope this helps you these are the five things five mindsets i want you to have at the back of your mind while you prepare for daniel fast and i hope that you build a better and um, an enriched experience with god this year don't forget to click on the on the share button share this with someone whom you would help i look forward to seeing in my videos and i also don't forget to watch the video where i talked about you know mistakes christian makes when they go on a daniel fast i'll see you in my next video bye